What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Nee Goose. So, I'm gonna be talking about the recent Thanatophobia nerf and if it's still viable on the plague. So, I've been testing out this perk throughout the entire week because I didn't want to just look at the uh, changes and say, oh, this perk is trash. I actually wanted to try it out just to see if it's any good and give you my overall opinion on it. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Thanatophobia, what it did before was for every injured survivor, all survivors gained a 5.5% penalty when doing generators, sabotaging hooks, and cleansing totems. But now instead of that 5.5%, it just does 2%. If all four survivors are injured, they gain an additional 12% penalty on top of the eight. So that's a total of 20% percent something i've noticed with this perk is that it really puts a pressure on you to try to get survivors infected really really quick as fast as possible and that can be difficult sometimes right so obviously when you play the plague and you spot in your main goal in the beginning of the match is to try to spread your infection around the map as fast as possible so sometimes it will take you a while to find one survivor, maybe two. Majority of my matches, I've noticed that I usually come across one to two survivors in the beginning. So I usually get them infected. So that's just a 4% penalty. And there are matches where I don't come across the other two survivors until there's like three or less gens left, you know, and all that time, all I had was 4% slowdown. And I'm like, is that really worth it, you know? But I notice I usually get value with this perk like mid to late game. That's when you usually have the whole team fully infected. That's if they're not cleansing. And that's another thing I want to get into. But yeah, it's a lot more luck based, right? You really have to go out your way in the beginning to really just try to hunt down every single survivor and get them infected. This perk just now puts a lot of pressure on you, I feel. Another thing I've noticed with this perk, if you have all survivors fully infected and one person cleanses, you, you lose your 20% slowdown and it goes all the way back to 6% you know but you do get an extra pool so that's another thing as well it's like survivors see that okay if all four survivors are infected and i cleanse i could just remove that extra 12 percent so it can increase the chances now survivors cleansing more which is nice but like you know just having six percent slowdown throughout the match isn't really doing anything another issue with this perk now is that if you get one survivor out of the match for the rest of the match, the max stacks you could get is 6% slowdown, which isn't much, man. I prefer to have like maybe like pain resonance or something for better slowdown, I feel. Because like getting someone out of the match can really hurt you, man. And you're pretty much just going to be playing with like three perks because 6% is not doing uh, much, you know. So yeah, that's just my overall opinion on Thanatophobia. Thanatophobia was by far one of my favorite perks on the plague just due to uh, how easy it is to get value with it. Just puke on a survivor, leave them, they get infected, and you just have this really good passive slowdown throughout the match. So I do have a match using the new Thanatophobia. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching. Let's get into the gameplay. Alrighty guys, we spawn in on the wretched shop. And yeah, can't complain about auto havens, bro, for the plague. Bro, all these gens are like so close together, which is good. Okay, let's look for some survivors now, now that we got some puke on these gens. And we got a, cor a really good uh, corrupt split as well. I'll break the wall later. I want to get him infected. Here, a totem. I just seen Ash on my left and somehow didn't get this girl infected. I'm going to give her a smack and then... Try to find this ash that I seen earlier. I don't know where he went. Okay. There's Yui. Nice. See if we could get her fully broken here. 
Nice. So they got a 4% penalty, which isn't really doing much. <laughs> uh, we need to get more people infected to get full value out of Thana. Gonna keep puking on these generators. This is why I love Corrupt Intervention on Plague. Because Plague is a setup killer. Right? You gotta make sure you're puking on survivors in the early game. So you can get your infection around the map quickly. Let's peek on that. All we need to do now is get the Ash infected to get full value with Thana. Let's see if I can shoot over there and get him. I'm actually gonna grab this because... They are kind of in the area here. I know Ash went around back to Shack somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Nice. Uh, that's a big mistake, though. You gave me Shack Pallet and gave me a hit. He's. running to the bus there's a dead hard luckily it didn't hit him because he would have got a big sprint burst beautiful okay i'm gonna smack this generator get him up on the hook nice now we got full value with thana they got a 20 percent repair penalty so let's see how these survivors are gonna play it let's see if they're gonna cleanse or just stay broken the entire match. Bro, this is the first time I played on this map. And I've seen the gens so close to each other. Beautiful. Our corrupt purge would have ran out there. He would have been able to get, that, get to that jungle gem as well. Holy crap. And I'm going to power up again. We got some good pool placements kind of near where we're controlling, which is nice. See the UE. Yeah. See if I can shoot over that hitter. I hear her coughing. Yeah, she's in a rough spot. Nice. I hear the ash coughing. What the hell was that? Could have been off the record or dead hard. I'm not sure. You're not going to fall for it again, right? He didn't. Okay, let's circle around. We got the low rot, so... Yeah, we're able to shoot over that. Nice, we got a cleanse from the Dwight, which is nice. So we're guaranteed a pool. I was kind of worried that these guys weren't going to cleanse. So they did uh, knock off 12% from the Thana. So that's not too good. So the pool is over there. I'm actually going to have to rotate over here and try to hold down this dude gen. Yeah, these guys are pumping gens, goddamn. Someone's here. Need to get them infected. Never mind. They're running all the way back there. The good thing is... This is why I kind of love Corrupt Intervention, man. These were the three gens that were corrupted in the beginning. So the survivors weren't working on them. So now I could rotate over here and kind of hold down this three gen. And we have a pool here. Three people infected. So they're going to be going down in one shot if they don't cleanse. the hell that went right through her body bro nice we got another cleanse good they're gonna start cleansing now because uh some of them are on death hook i believe 
Up you go. And yeah, this is a good 3 gen, bro. This is doable. That's a bit of progress on it. Sucks that pool is on the other side of the map, though. See if we can shoot over this and hit him. No hit. I hear her puking. Wow, she actually avoided all that puke. And the tree and the tire saved her, bro. Goddamn. Honestly, I'll just uh, secure this hook stage on the Nea. Make her go in second stage. I have no reason to leave either, because I have a good 3 gen here. Okay, good. Let's puke on that. Puke on that. Someone's over there, good to know. Let me chase a Yui a little bit. See what she does. Uh, yeah, she gets to that pallet. They should have got that Nea off hook while I was chasing the Yui. That was their opportunity. I might just camp her to death, honestly. They do need one more gen to escape. Let's see if I could get puke on him. Didn't hit him. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he had to commit because she was about to die. Now we get him out of the game because he's on death hook as well. Beautiful. Up you go. That's actually perfect. Wow, they're on the gen at the hill, I believe. Luckily, we uh, camped the nail. Unhook. Or else I would have been in a rough spot right now. They cleanse at the hill over there. There's no way out. So we know they're at this exit gate back here. Where's this guy, bro? No way out's about to run out. So I'm just going to puke on the exit gate. If he taps the gate, I'll know. I'll see his uh, character portrait turn green. Let's power up. So he didn't unhook her, so he's probably just going to look for Hatch. I still got to watch the gates though as well. He's here. Thano actually gave me some pretty decent slowdown mid-game, mid to late game. I kind of got lucky in the beginning though with uh, the quick finds and getting them infected. Grats on the camping. <laughs> I gave them an opportunity to go for the unhook when I chased the Yui around the main building. That was a chance they had to go for the unhook. I left the hook. But they're nowhere in sight. So, you know, I took advantage of it. GG's.